It's amazing how God works and brings two sinners together and becoming one flesh. God has planted a love in me that I never knew one day I would have to reflect it. In and through our relationship, God has shown me the gospel time and time again. God has shown me how he pursued me and kept pursuing me, even when I was bitter, even when I was confused, even when I was angry, so much more and so on. But yeah, he still pursued me. He kept his focus on me. And the more I looked at you, the more I saw Christ. The more I looked at you, the more it reminded me of myself, of how much God wanted to pursue me. We've been waiting for this day for so long, and it's finally here. Sometimes I ask myself, why did it take us so long? And throughout the years, I knew that that was not up to us. It was up to God. And it was not in our time, but in God's timing, because His timing is everything. My actual first thought of you were, who is this guy? Where did he come from? Is he even Hmong? He's so odd. But little did I know that when God led you to our church, He also led you to me and you changed and you would change my life forever. So here we stand in front of our friends and families and in front of God. I promise to love you with all my heart. I promise to serve you honor you, cherish you, respect you. I promise to be faithful to you and honest and never lie to you unless I'm planning your surprise party. I promise I will do my best to help you in all things, to lighten your heart, to help us find peace and happiness in our life together. And I promise to always put you second. I'm sorry, but God comes first. I promise I will try to be strong for you, for myself, and for us, just like you have been all these years. Because when I look at you, I see a strong person, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Because tomorrow is not a promise, let my vows and these promises of mine be your hope. Just like my hope in God, know that tomorrow is not a promise, but I hope it is. Because when tomorrow comes, we will be together. And that's all I have and will always hope for. That it will always be you, me, and God. Amen. When she first brought Say over before she said yes to dating him, she brought him over and said, I want you to approve of him before I say yes. Um, <laughs> so I got to talk to Say a little bit. I don't know if he was scared or not, but um, after meeting him for a little bit, <laughs> then I said, okay. <laughs>
Anyway, I remember just meeting her first time. She was really soft-spoken, very shy, very quiet. You know, just the way she is. And it was really sweet meeting her, and I'm really grateful for her. She, she's, uh, she's an awesome lady, and I thank God for her. Um, anyway, I, I've known you for a long time since you were, I think, in high school or out of high school. You were probably 17 or 18 when I first met you. And, uh, man, you just, uh, you know, you're an amazing young man. And I thank God that that night, you know, we had a little Bible study and uh, shared, shared the Bible and uh, had a little Bible study. And God really saved you that that night. And, and I'm really thankful for that, you know. I give you this ring. Gumball, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. And my faithfulness to you. I will always love you. Cherish you and honor you. All the days of my life. And with this ring, I marry you. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Say, now you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Xiong.